Well, this is probably a very bad idea, but we're racing the trucks here at Coda, so... Uh, yeah. I... The plan was to try and start in the back, not qualify. Somehow, I'm still the number one in the split. I don't understand how. I almost never do road racing, so my I rating is pretty low. Uh, yeah, so this has to be either a bottom split or second to bottom. I'm not fully sure, but there's no way I should be the number one in this. Plan was to start in the back. Fortunately, we're starting right in the middle now because of my number, so. That kind of sucks. But, you know, I guess... Oh my god, I'm gonna go off track on the pace lap. Why not? Uh, but yeah. I mean, I can run... a 226 here. That's about as quick as I was able to get in practice, which is... very bad, still. Um, Looks so... Like lining up behind the six. Not hoping for anything good. Biggest thing is just to not get DQ'd. So, if we can make it through this without any incidents or not, I think I'll be uh, pretty happy. We could at least get a top 10. That's what I'll shoot for, but... I mean, it really comes to down comes down to uh, how every, everyone else is going to be driving. If people are going off track in that and spinning out, then it's going to be too, too difficult to get some positions up. Or at least stay where I am. But, yeah, it's uh, it's probably going to be a total disaster. Great, kick the thing off. Let's have some fun today. We don't need fuel or anything. Hey, this is a big off. setup race, so... Let's get it down to first. No point in really getting too close here. I just don't want to get ran into from behind on this first turn. Six gets a slow start, that's going to back everybody up. Hopefully no one's the hero here and decides to slam into everybody in the first turn. Well, we're clear now, we got through the first turn. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked. gonna keep it in second here just to try and keep my speed down without me knowing really subconsciously keep it low all right we're not doing as terrible as I thought we would everyone's kind of just running their line we're all keeping single file We'll get loose in that turn if uh, you come into it just a little too hot. I come in way clear, clear, too clear. fast and we spin clear, out. Clear, clear. We pick up a 1x, so that's fun. Hopefully that'll be the only one for this race. And we're probably going to break early here. I don't want to chance it. The only one that's really spun so far is me. I'm sure others have gotten one X's for going off the track, but so far I think I'm the only one that actually kind of lost it. This part of the track is extremely loose, there's no grip. go through that turn a little bit quicker. Let me overdrive that turn just a bit. And this is how I kind of figured it was going to be. Leaders are definitely quicker than me.
Thankfully though, everyone seems to be running pretty clean. We're only two laps in, not even two laps. Go to third here, but no, I think that's a bad idea. I think I need the gear to kind of slow me down and limit me. This track is just really bad because in the actual truck race, I mean, they were going way off the track onto these uh, pavement, pieces of pavement, pavement and that around the turns. So it's completely allowed, but here in iRacing you will pick up so many 1x's if you actually try and use all of the track. It's really stupid. We kind of back up here a bit. A little too hard on the gas there. See the back end start to go. like in the trucks 160 is about your key number and that's when you really need to start slowing down in this turn if not oh my god we reached those tires or chirp them yeah this is uh this is stressful I don't mind road courses but this one is just intense. Six is probably going to lose it at some point. He seems like he's getting loose a lot. And this part of the track right here would be the place that he would lose it. There's almost no grip. I don't know why, but I always underdrive that turn really bad. it. No, oh, the 12 loses it behind us. Or was that? Yeah, that was a 12. Alright, we're gonna slow down soon because I don't need to run off the track. Six is kind of like me, just all over the place. Hopefully we can just hang on now. Going through this, 12 laps seems like an eternity, actually. Definitely takes a lot more out of you trying to line up all these corners correctly. Probably the only way now that we're going to gain a position is if somebody spins out. Sharp those tires. I mean, we're running in seven, so it's not the worst. I don't want to speak too soon, though, and possibly make a stupid mistake that brings us all the way to the back. That chirping, yeah, we're gonna drift it around. Right side. I'm going to give the two the position. Clear. That was my mistake. Luckily we didn't pick up a loss of control or anything, so that's good. He was definitely playing it safe. Hopefully we don't get it off the track. Oh my god. Well, there's our second off the track. Even though it wasn't really off the track, sure. I think I need to just play it a little bit safer. I think I'm trying to push it just a little too hard and it's showing in the way I'm driving. So that's going to bring us back to 8. I 
think I really overdrove that turn. I think the two kind of just slowed down a little bit more than me. Oh wow, he's um, he's off the track now, and we also hit spikes or whatever you want to call them. So that was kind of a mistake on his part. Kind of the battle that's slowest right now. Because we're definitely not. I was about to say, if that was an off track, I was going to be upset. I don't know what the 11 go by. Still there, right next to you. Still there? Clear, clear, clear. Left side. Still there. Apparently he didn't get the best run off the turn, so I guess we are still going to be racing here down this straight. Going to 60 is about when you want to break. Burp the tires all the way into the turn. This is more just about surviving, not getting DQ'd. I don't know why this part of the track has absolutely no grip. It seriously feels like it's on ice. But we're able to hold off the 11. The 2 is easily pulling away now. If he ends up messing this part of the track up, he might be able to get the position back. Let's do it better that time. Truck wanted to slide there. Kind of took that turn really slow, but there was no way we were going to be able to pass him or anything. So 160 mark, and get on those brakes hard. Try and follow the twos line, maybe that'll help us out a little bit. Now we gotta go wide here. This turn is extremely tight. Get it down the first. He might have got a 1x there. God, it's so bad through here. Every time. I know we can go quicker through this. A little bit better. Could probably take it at 80 miles per hour if we do it right.
looked like the 11 was going to try and make a move there. But I think he cut the top corner just a little too short. And uh, yeah, I wasn't going to be able to get by. Kind of messed that corner up. Definitely not going to be able to pass the two unless he makes some kind of mistake. Seems like all the leaders are doing pretty well. I don't think anybody has actually made a crucial mistake where they've gone off track or something. a little loose. This part of the track I just struggled so bad. Okay, let's try 80. Well, that's definitely not 80. This doesn't, I don't think I'm getting the right angle. Yeah, let's uh, try and shift in the first more towards the end of the turn. I think that's going to help us not spin. Two. I'm sure the tires have heated up some. Gotta watch out for that. I don't know how bad tire wear here is. With the with the low amount of grip, it shouldn't be bad. I just don't even grip half the time. I almost lose it. That's going to drift us right around, and we're just going to let the 11 by. Uh, and that brings us to a 4x. All kind of messed up. A lot of rhythm in that, and this is where more mistakes will happen. I am less than half throttle, and the back end just wants to go. I understand I'm not running the correct line there, but it still shouldn't feel like the truck is on complete ice. And we're going to miss this turn up as well. Yeah, we're just falling apart here at the end. Five, seven, five, go. God, I, I think I'm done shifting in the first. It's not worth it. I keep forgetting to do it on corner exit instead of uh, entry.
12's gaining on us. Hopefully we can hold them off. I really do at least want a top 10. That's better. Finally remember to shift in the first mid corner and not coming into it. Tires might be overheated too because it's just getting so loose. I think the 12 might have gave up, but don't see him behind me anymore. Like I said, if we get a top 10. I at least finish the race. I think that's a win in my book. If I did more road courses more of the time, I would say then that we should be better than this, but I honestly don't do them almost ever. So. Actually, I think the only road courses I've done on iRacing is just in the MX-5s. This road course it is not easy. You have elevation changes. There's like, I think there's 20 turns in this, 19 or 20. Like, it is not an easy road course to, to drive on. And then add in the fear of barely going off the track, not even off the track, and getting possible one, one X's for pretty much nothing. And then also the complete lack of grip. Just horrendous. I've never had it, never experienced it this bad at any track, really. I think I saw before they were stacking up a little bit here. Definitely not catching them unless they make a, a really bad mistake or something. Definitely feels like tire wear is coming in the play now. does not feel as good as it did in the beginning, which it already didn't feel that great, so adding tire wear just makes it even worse. Yeah, I still got that David on this 
Okay, so I assume somebody might have spun out at some point. Maybe bumped into each other. I think that was a six. going to go straight off the track. No, I don't want the 1X. There we go. <laughs> it's really bad. Good job, buddy. Two more, man. Come on. I think everybody else in this race has either given up or are wrecked out in the pits, from what I can tell. The only one behind me, I think, is the 14. cars in the list, and it looks like we'll probably get P9 if we don't do something really dumb. So, mid-pack finish. I'll gladly take that, especially with how bad we could have done. So much better when you shift to first mid corner there. Doesn't upset the truck or anything. I don't know if I'm going to do any other series here just because it's probably going to be all the same. Me just trying to survive. It's not really going to be too much actual racing. Coming to the white flag. see a white flag. Looks like there's four positions up there. If somebody ends up making a nasty mistake, we might be able to get something here. No, it wouldn't be an earned position, really. sequence a bit here. The main thing you don't want to do is hit one of those spikes at like 90 some miles per hour because one time 
in practice I did in through the car or through the truck and uh, got me loose and I hit the other one and went flying straight into the wall so definitely get pretty nasty if you hit them the wrong way. like the six might have made a mistake because he was definitely no that's not the six that's the 13 in front of us about to say catching on him very quick there off the corner. It's too much gas. Let's try a little bit quicker. Let's There's like 70 some to that corner. Felt a little bit better. And that's going to be it. Thank goodness. Checkered flag. We get E9 in this one. So I guess not horrendous, but not great. Let's see all of the incidents and everything that happened. I assume everybody's already probably gone. So I'll have to speed it up here a bit. Oh, this is practice now. Yeah, let's get to the race, actually. There we go. Probably would help if I actually played it. There we go. First incident. Oh, wow. Yeah, we had kind of a mess here. So, three gets turned. I don't know who actually turned them. Eight did. So he gets turned around. Seventeen's gonna lose it. And blinks out. <laughs> Looks like sixteen, I think that was. Couldn't really catch his number, but just takes out the five. Seventeen's gonna overdrive and then gets ran into. As he's coming back to onto the track. Seventeen's gonna lose it again. This is where the twelve loses it. Runs into the wall. Thirteen spins out. Five's gonna undercut that turn. Well, and kind of walks it up. Oh my. Alright, well that was a little retaliation there. Three doing what I think I was and shifting in the first at the incorrect time and spinning out. He's just blinking out. Fifteen losing it. Three's going to hit the wall pretty hard. That's the three. <laughs> it's over the spike. Did that spike actually damage? Wow, yeah, it actually damaged the truck. Oh my god, and then he, I'm guessing, loses it here. Yeah, mid... Going mid-corner through that, that's when you shift, and... You could get off the gas for a second and it helps uh, get through that turn a little bit quicker from what I saw. 12 running into the wall. 
What lap is this? Okay, so six loses it here a bit, but not enough for anyone to really gain on him. 18's gonna hit that spike. Oh my god! Yeah, he hits that really bad there. I don't know if the 8 was trying to drift that turn, but I don't know what that was. And I'm sure that's gonna take him out of this race. Goldfish truck, losing it in the turn. 18 not really knowing what to do, and they almost run into each other. Pen's gonna shift down in the first, and that spins him around. And that's it! So, not the most exciting race, but still not terrible for us, I guess. I'll definitely take ninth, being, uh, how bad I was, so, yeah, thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, one more thing, what were the tires? Yeah, so we were kind of beating up the rears, right front wasn't too bad, but, yeah, that was from all the near spinning and that, but, yeah, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.